Welcome to Bond Debate, everyone. I'm Troy Thompson. Joining me in the studio today is Amanda Fondren. Now, Amanda's from Omnis Health Clinic, and today we're talking about gene site testing. Now, this is to help with anxiety and depression. Welcome to the show, my friend. I'm Thank really you. looking forward to having this conversation. Let's talk a little bit about gene site testing. What is it? Okay. And so how is it done? Okay, gene site testing is actually a test done by the company Gene Sight, yeah. and it is a DNA test to look at how a person's genes dictate how they metabolize medications for um, drugs that affect the brain for anxiety, depression, mood instability, and stuff like that. And it also looks at how those drugs actually affect the body. Well, how is gene site testing helping you though? What are you looking for? That's, that's the part I want to get to. You're doing it via blood, correct? No, we actually swab the inside of the cheeks and we send it to the company and they do actual DNA testing on it. Now, is this checking for cancer and things like that as well? No. Purely about Purely about what you're genes in your mouth. that target how medications are metabolized and affect the brain, drugs that affect the brain. It's specific to medications that... Is this something new? It's not super new, it's just not done very much around here. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, I've never heard of it. It, it sounds is fascinating. amazing. So what's the turnaround? What's the benefit? So I come in, have a, have a swab, uh -huh. and do I get my results back in a week? Yes. Or do you get them? I get them. And then I have to come back in. Yes. And if there are issues with the medications right. or whatever, what, what do you do then? So it helps me as a clinician decide on the absolute best medication to help get remission of your symptoms. Interesting. A lot of people have trouble getting on the right medicine. They try this medicine or that medicine and they have side effects or it doesn't work. And so it is a more direct clinical path to getting on a medication to help alleviate the symptoms of things like anxiety and depression that affects a lot of people. Oh, I can imagine. Okay, I'm going to ask a question as if it was me because okay. I have I take cholesterol pills uh -huh. and pre-diabetic pills. Okay. Okay. It's, I'm apparently classed as morbidly obese. I don't get it, but that's the <laughs> system in America. Um, I don't feel morbidly obese, but it, can I come in and do this test to see if the medications that I'm on, I'm on are causing a problem and could find a better medication. Do you see where I'm going with this? I do see where you're going with it. So with diabetes and blood pressure or cholesterol, there really are not tests for that right now readily available. Correct. But for anxiety and depression medications, oh. it's super specific. However, as a provider, I study how medications are metabolized. So I look at the pharmacology. And so there are cholesterol medicines that use those same metabolism pathways that these medications that affect anxiety and depression are metabolized through. And so I look at that. If I have a patient have a lot of alterations on their yeah. report, I go and look at all the rest of their medications to see if we need to make changes in other medications that are metabolized the same way that this medication they have a problem in is. I find it absolutely fascinating. It is. What we can do, mm -hmm. even though we are being prescribed medications, we can still perform better right. with new ones. Yes. As always, great information. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> if you want to find out more information about this incredible gene site testing, there it all is up on the screen for you. Give Amanda a call over there at Omnis Health Clinic. Back after this short break.